Just like how you don't like when you go into Macy's and then people are offering you perfumes and perfumes and perfumes and you would like, come on bro, I didn't come here for this. You don't want that. So that's what it feels like when you're just telling people to buy this, buy that, percent here, percent off. Anyways, most of those people don't even know you yet. So how are you building a brand by just making people buy stuff? That's not how Instagram works. Hola mi gente bella y bienvenidos a mi canal. My name is Sandra, if this is your first time here. And welcome to my channel. And in this channel, you'll be learning and I'll be speaking about everything luxury candle making business. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. of this video in this video you'll be learning about marketing your luxury candle making business um, and why is it important to market your candle business It's important because you need sales you want sales and you want people to come to your business so social media marketing is the perfect way to guarantee that you are going to have some sort of foot traffic into your business so in this video I'll be teaching you about 10 tips and a bonus tip at the end now in this video I will also ha, start out with my famous what you're not gonna do so what you're not gonna do is make your IG account private on that same note you're not gonna make your personal IG account your business IG account why would you not want to do that anyways because per first of all your account is already geared towards your family and friends. Most likely they're not your customers. You have pictures there that are very personal. So most likely you want to keep that private. So if you don't know how to uh, make your account a business account, if you don't have another account for your business, then I will go ahead and teach you right now. What you are going to do in order to get your account to be a business account and you already have a personal account, leave your personal account alone, but just go into your personal account and we're going to add another account to your personal account, but make it a business account. Follow me. Now, open your Instagram account and you're going to see that there are three lines on the upper right hand corner and you're going to click on that or tap on that. And then you're gonna have a set of menu that comes down. You're gonna click on the first uh, gear and the first one says settings. So you're gonna click on settings or tap on settings and you're gonna scroll all the way down, scroll all the way down and you're gonna see a wording that says add account. So you're gonna click on add account. Now, if you don't have a business name right now, then don't worry about your Instagram um, account at this moment. The first thing you should already have is your, uh, your business name. Once you already have your business name, then you should go ahead and look if someone already has, doesn't have actually, your business name on Instagram. Now, if your, Insta if your name is not taken on Instagram, you're going to click on add account and another set of menus is going to appear. It's going to say log into existing account or create new account. Because if we're going to create a business account with your business name, we're gonna click on create new account. Then it's gonna come up with another setting and that is going to tell you to create your username. Now, the name that we're going to be using for this new business, let's call it flower and accessories or flowers and home decor. Let's do flowers and home decor. It probably is taken. Okay, flowers and home decor is not taken and it'll give you a check mark when, and telling you that it's not taken so it's ready for you to use. So let's click on next. After you click on next, it's gonna tell you to add a phone number and then it's gonna tell you to add an email. So you do those and then you click on next. So you're going to 
is gonna if you already have that email account with uh, an, the previous your personal account is gonna give you a an error and it's not really an error message but it's gonna give you like a like a warning this account is already associated with another account do you want to create a new account or log into your previous one you're going to click on create a new account so as soon as that happens it's going to tell you create a password so we're going to create a password you can create the same password that you use to open up your personal account or you can create a brand new password and click on save password and it's and click on next and that's it welcome to instagram flowers and home decor and it's going to tell you to complete sign up and we're going to click on complete sign up Okay, now once it completes the sign up, it's gonna ask you to find Facebook friends. Now, at this time, we don't have our page set up yet, so don't click on follow, uh, find Facebook friends or connect to Facebook at this moment because um, you probably don't have your Facebook account activated yet, so don't do that step yet. You could click on skip and you could do that later. And now it's telling you to find contact. Don't do that at this moment because you don't want your contacts to be your friends on your Instagram account and you don't want to follow them because they're not your, your um, target audience. So don't follow them and you don't want them to follow you. So go ahead and skip that step as well. Now it's gonna give you the option to add a profile photo. If you already have a profile photo of your uh, business logo then go ahead and click on add a photo oh photo <laughs> and then you'll have a photo for your account I don't have a photo for this account so we're not gonna put a photo at this moment but you could do that at this time I'm gonna click on skip but you're gonna go ahead and click on add photo if you don't have one right now then don't worry about that now it's gonna give you a page another pop-up actually for uh, celebrities that you want to follow don't follow any celebrities on this page because um, they're not your target audience so don't follow any celebrities just click on next click on not now because you don't want them to sync anybody and now your Instagram is not ready yet so what you want to do is click on the little person if, if you already uploaded your logo to Instagram or a picture to Instagram as your profile picture, then you're gonna click that picture at the bottom. If you don't have a profile picture on, on your page at this moment, then you're gonna click that, um, that stand out little person at the bottom of your right hand menu bar, and you're gonna click on that, and you're gonna go back up to the menu bar, which is those three little bars at the top of, your, of the right hand side, and then you're gonna tap on that you're going to go back to settings and you're going to go to account and this step is actually the same step if you already have a business account but your business account is still a personal account so let me go back to that step so what you're going to do is click on that bottom of the right hand side and it's going to have a menu and that is going to give you the actual page you're not going to have any followers or any posts or any following anybody that you're following and you're going to click on the three little bars or little lines at the top right hand corner and you're going to click again on settings once you click on settings you're going to click on account and account is going to be a little circle just like a hand-drawn person so you're going to click on that and you're going to go to switch to professional account account if your account is not a personal account then leave that alone don't click on person make a person switch to personal because you don't want your account to, to be a personal account you want your account to be a business account or professional account uh, and then click on that it's going to tell you get a free person professional account so click on continue Learn about your followers, click on continue, reach more people, continue, get new contact options, continue. And then it's going to give you uh, categories. Select which category you are in your business. So it's going to give you a few for you to um, pick. It's going to, wow, 
Now, the one that kind of goes with candle making is either product or service or shopping and retail. You make your pick. I'm going to go ahead and put um, product and service. And it's going to tell you, do, do you want this to be displayed on Instagram? You're going to click on yes or just slide the round radio button and you're going to click on done. And now it's going to give you an option. You are either going to click on business or you're going to click on creator. The business account is for retailers, local businesses, brands, organizations, and service providers. Now the creator account is for public figures, content producers, uh, artists, and influencers. You're not going to be the creator account. You're going to choose the business account. So go ahead and choose the business account. So once you do that, you're going to get another pop-up and this pop-up says review your contact info. So make sure that your email, your phone number, and your business address is correct if you have a business address. If you don't have a business address, you can leave that blank, but you're going to have to put your uh, bus uh, you don't have to put your business phone number. You don't have a business phone number so that your personal phone number is not uh, made public. So if you have a email address and you want to make that public, go ahead and put that there too. And then you click on next if you want that or don't use my contact info if you don't want your contact to be seen by everybody then click on don't use my contact info and then it's going to ask you to connect your facebook page if you have already a facebook facebook page with your business account then go ahead and link that together if you don't then go ahead and do and click on don't connect to facebook now and now it's going to give you the welcome and your business name our business name for this situation is flowers and home decor and it's going to give you a zero of three steps complete so you go ahead and complete your profile um, invite people don't do that yet share posts and videos and you could do that so now your account is already set to business is set to public and it's also ready for you to post all your Instagram related content for your business my second what you're not gonna do is you are not going to add an underscore or a one, two, three, or add extra letters if your business name has been already taken. Don't do that, okay? Because first of all, your business name is already your business name. And if you add an underscore or a one, two, three, or an extra letter, how are people going to be following you? And also, if you already put, let's say, for example, you said, forget it, I'm just going to add the one, two, three, because I want to keep this business name and people are, I'm just going to re reinforce telling people to just follow me at flowers and home decor, one, two, three, because somebody already has flowers and home decor, um, the name. Um, don't do that. First of all, because people are not going to remember the one, two, three or the underscore or anything like that. And that probably means that somebody already has that business name. So you might as well just go back to the drawing board and pick another name. I have my video on naming your luxury business. I'll link that right above. And I'll also put it on the description box below and I'll also pin it in the uh, comments. You could also check out my book, Candle Making Business Hacks, uh, a, guide, a beginner's guide to tips, tricks, and to social media. And in that book, you will also uh, have information on how to create a business name. You also have information on all the steps that I went through in writing and it's for free. You can get it for free. You'll just have to input your email address and you'll get that in your email. If you don't find it in your email, just check your spam box and you'll have it in there. What you're not going to do, which is my third, what you're not going to do is randomly put pictures on your business account. Don't do that because people who are going to start following you are going to be confused about what content does she have or what content does he have? Why is there pizza on this picture? Why is there Karen's wedding picture here? What? Wait, is this really her page? Okay, you're gonna have people confused. You're gonna have Instagram confused. You are going to 
lose followers because they followed you for one specific purpose, which is for your business and for those types of content. But you're over here showing people about Karen's wedding pictures and the pizza that you ate last night. They don't want to see that. They want to see your content, your business content, your product content. That's what they want to see. Not, 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 not all those other stuff. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Be specific. Be content related. Make sure that you're posting stuff that has to deal with your business and not with what happened yesterday or with a wedding that happened that nobody cares about. Only your family. Put that on your personal account. Don't put that on your business account. What you're not going to do, post once every four weeks, post once and never post again. Don't do that. Instagram is filled with pictures, filled with people posting, filled with so much content that yours are going to be lost in the sauce. So you have to keep a steady schedule. So if you're going to be scheduling your pictures to be posted on Instagram or videos to be posted on Instagram, make sure that you are consistent, make sure that you are on brand, and make sure that you are doing it on a daily. You don't have to do it every day, but you have to make sure that you're doing it daily. Meaning if you're going to be posting Monday, Wednesday, Thursdays, or Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, or Monday, Wednesday, Saturdays, you post all, every Monday, Wednesday, Thursdays, every Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, or every Monday, Wednesday, Saturdays. You have to be consistent. How many times you supposed to post in one day depends on what you want. But primarily, a lot of people just say, and I believe, that at least three times a day. If you don't post three times a day, at least once a day, it's fine. The minimum is once a day. But consistently, you want to keep it consistently, so do it three times a day. And make sure that you are on brand and topics related to your products. And if you only post once, and your followers are not on the site at that particular time or it's going to get lost. And if they follow a lot of people, then your, your content is not going to be um, on their feed. So what I do suggest is to also post on your stories. Your stories are there 24 hours. If you don't have time to post all three times a day, you could put it on your post on your stories and it'll be there for 24 hours and they could click, they'll get a notification if they're your followers, they'll get a notification to click on your, your name logo or your picture and then they could see your stories at that particular time and they'll have like how many times you post that day which is on your stories. If you don't have anything on your stories, they're not, they're not, gonna, they're not gonna see that. But if you have your stories catered to posting as well as posting on your webs on your Instagram account, then they'll be able to see it that way. They'll have like a ring around your logo or your picture where that means that you have uh, something in your stories that they could check out. So post on your stories and post on your um, Instagram account. The next what you're not going to do, that'll be the fifth what you're not going to do is you're not going to post only your content. Even though it is your account, you should also post other people's um, pictures on your account. But make sure that it's brand related. For example, on my account, I have pictures of, of spas, I have pictures of um, massage oils. I have pictures of essential oils and some of those pictures I did not take. I did take some of them, but a lot of those pictures I did not take, but I tag the creator of that picture. I give them credit in the actual post and I also tag them in the post as well as in the picture. So I do give credit to the the creators of those pictures on my page, but I make sure that those pictures are on brand. And I also make sure that those pictures are placed in a strategic order. Instagram gives you uh, three pictures per row. So what I do is I use the first as, let's say for example, a picture of myself. 
I could take a picture of me with the candles, the second, uh, another picture, and the third picture could be a picture of my candles or any other product that I offer in my shop. And also, what you could do for the next set of picture is you could make a collage. You could make a collage of the four pictures that you already took, which means it's a day that you don't really have to take a picture. Now, the next, what you're not gonna do is don't post sales, uh, half off, discount codes, or anything related to that on your page because although you are starting your Instagram account to find other people to become your target audience, to become your customers, you don't want to be too salesy and you don't want them to make your business feel as if you're trying to per persuade them to buy something. Don't do that. All you're gonna do is post pictures about your products in a nice, nice way, perfect, uh, settings and stuff like that so that the picture will entice them to purchase your product. Just like how you don't like when you go into Macy's and then people are offering you perfumes and perfumes and perfumes and you would like, come on bro, I didn't come here for this. You don't want that. So that's what it feels like when you're just telling people to buy this, buy that, percent here, percent off. Anyways, most of those people don't even know you yet. So how are you building a brand by just making people buy stuff? That's not how Instagram works. Instagram is here to con for content creators, for people who are wanting to share their content with others and other people choose to buy your product. So in the process of posting all your pictures on Instagram, you probably are going to get a customer, you're probably going to get a follower and you're probably gonna get a like. So the purpose of Instagram is not to sell your stuff. The purpose of Instagram is to put your stuff out there so that others could see what you have so that your branding could be marketed, so that your branding could be um, in the face of many, many people. That is the purpose of Instagram. Now, what you're not gonna do, and this is my eighth what you're not gonna do, don't run a giveaway as your first post. You don't even have one or two followers yet, not even a hundred followers yet, who is going to participate on your giveaway if you don't have any followers? Now, just having a hundred followers is also not enough, but it's probably enough. But I suggest when you have a large following, and by large following, I mean maybe about two to 300 people who are already following you, then at that time, you could more or less start a giveaway. And then you'll know when it's the right time because you'll see the engagement on your post. If you have 20 likes, 30 likes, 15 likes, those are the kinds of likes that you want on your post. More would be great, but if you have those, those are, those are, those are also good too. And you'll know when to start running a giveaway. Another good thing about running a giveaway is so that you could give a little bit more hype to your products. And if you're launching, That'll be a good way to start a giveaway. Now, what you're not gonna do on those giveaways is make those rules so impossible that nobody wants to participate. So, when you start your rules, you must make them simple. For example, follow my page, like this post, tag a friend. Simple, to the point, perfect, small, everybody will be able to participate and you'll have a lot of participation. Now, in order for your giveaway to be um, broadcasted more, I will link down below the, the criteria, step-by-step -step of how, what I did. You must also put, what is it exactly that you are including in the giveaway? Is it a candle? Is it a, is it a wax melt? Is it a massage oil? Whatever it is that you're including in your giveaway, make sure that you put it in the actual post as well. Also, another thing that you should post on the giveaway is when does it start, when does it end, and when are you gonna pick the winner? How are you gonna pick the winner? Is it through DM, is it through email, is it, how is it that you're gonna pick your email? Now, is it a random, is it a random um, selection process, or is it the more you, you uh, tag a friend, the more opportunities it is for them to win uh, the particular prize? 
uh, make sure that you quantify the actual uh, giveaway. So if it's worth $50, but you're giving it for free, that'd be great too, because they'll be like, oh, you know, this thing is worth $50 and I'm getting it for free. Awesome. Now, in order for you to have more people that are not following you now, you also should put the correct hashtags. Now the hashtags I'll also link down below in the actual um, template. It's going to be for free. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to charge you. It's for free. The template, what to put and what um, hashtags to actually put on your post so that you'll be able to have other people who are not your followers who will also like to participate in this giveaway. Now, the only drawback to that is that sometimes those people are not really people that want to follow you. They just want stuff for free, but you'll gain followers in the process. And maybe those are followers that probably like your products because I found many followers that way too. Next, what you are not going to do, which is number nine, you are not going to be using hashtag randomly. You need to be able to use a combination of hashtags, big, small, and medium sized hashtag. Big hashtag will be in the, in the millions of uh, uh, medium sized hashtag will be in the thousands and a small hashtag will be in the hundreds. So you want to use a combination of all of those different types of hashtags numbers by numbers. I mean, um, let's say for example, you're using candles as your hashtag candles have so much posts to that at particular hashtag at this moment, 13.1 million posts. And that's candles with an S candle with no S is 9.9 .9 million posts. So there's a lot of posts with those. So those are the, the big hashtags. Now the thousand hashtags is if you go down, like you put pink candle, how much post, how many posts are, has pink candle. Okay. This is in the hashtag pink candle without the S has 11.2 uh, thousands posts. Now pink candles with an S has 5,000 posts. So those, what I mean about uh, medium size and a large size or big size and a small size um, po uh, hashtags, make sure that you use a combination of all those three. Now, hmm, what you are not going to do related to hashtags is put candle making ha hashtag candle making or hashtag candle maker. Don't use those hashtags because you're only going to attract other candle makers. If you have to put a hashtag related to candles, describe your candle. If it's made out of soy, put soy candle. If it's made out of paraffin, put paraffin candles. If it's a blend, put paraffin blend or soy blend or whatever candle uh, uh, wax you're using so that you are attracting customers and not other candle makers because Although it is nice for other candle makers to follow you when you follow them, they're not going to be your potential customers. They are most likely also there to do the same thing that you're doing and they're trying to follow, they're trying to gain followers. They're trying to gain customers. So in my opinion, do not put on your uh, post hashtag candle maker, hashtag candle making or anything related to you as a maker. What you are going to do is describe what you have in your picture. And that is what a actual customer does when they post their own pictures on their page. That's what they do. So you're going to describe the picture, whatever the candle is made out of the scent, the, the surrounding that you have the candle in that will be a hashtag on its own. So make sure that you post your pictures with hashtags related to the picture in every picture. And also as a bonus tip, make sure that you make your candle business a hashtag. So in every single post, you're going to make your candle business name a hashtag. So the business that we created earlier was flowers and home decor. We're going to make it a hashtag hashtag flowers and home decor along with the at, because every time you post a picture on Instagram, it's going to say your business name plus the hashtag when you post a picture. And then you have two ways of, exposure on Instagram without even trying. So that's a very good way to post two times on Instagram, just 
one with your hashtag and the other one with your actual business name. The next what you're not going to do, which is numero diez, what you're not going to do, don't do follow for follow, don't buy likes or followers, and don't do the follow loop. Okay, now a lot of you don't know what some of those are. Um, buying likes and followers is very self-explanatory. Don't do that. Also, don't do the follow for follow. The follow for follow will be like, I follow you, you follow me, and then that's it. First of all, you don't know if I like your content, and, and second of all, I don't know if you like my content. So what's the point in follow for follow if you're not gonna like my stuff and I'm not gonna like your stuff, I'm not gonna buy stuff from you and you're not gonna buy stuff from me. Don't do that. You're wasting your followers and you're wasting your time. Don't do that, don't do that. The other one is the follow loop. The follow loop is mostly people who are also other candle makers that would message you through DM and they will tell you follow the, let's say, let's say six people on this list, follow the six people on this list, erase the last person, put your name there, and then send this out to six more people so that they could follow um, the six people in there, plus do this how many times, whatever. Don't do that. For the same reasons that you don't wanna do the follow for follow, and for the same reason that you don't buy followers, because they are not your potential customers. You don't want that. You want people that are gonna be engaging with your post, you want people that are going to like your post, and you're gonna want people that are actually gonna be your potential customers. So don't do follow for follow, follow loop, or buy, buy likes and followers. And another reason, which is the major reason why, Instagram is going to know that those people don't like your stuff. So guess what? It's gonna be, your account is gonna be flagged as spammy and you're probably going to get some of your privilege taken away and your account might be canceled and you don't want that so don't do follow for follow the other stuff because you don't want your account to be canceled especially if you already have like let's say a thousand uh, followers and then you're going to be stuck with no one another reason why you don't want to do any of those stuff because your likes is not going to match up with the post that you make. So you have, let's say you have 10,000 followers and when every time you post, you only have 15 likes. How? How? How do you have 10,000 followers but you only have 15 likes? It doesn't match. So another red flag for your account. Like, especially if I'm going to follow you and then I see, oh, she has 10,000 followers, that's awesome. Then I go through your Instagram account and then I see that you have 100 pictures, but each of those 100 pictures only have one like, 10 likes, three likes. I'm like, this is a fraudulent account. I'm not gonna follow you and then unfollow you if I had already followed you or just don't follow you at all. So don't do that because you're gonna lose customers, you're gonna lose, you're going to lose your credibility and you don't want that to happen to your account. Okay, now my last tip, my last action, not what you're going to do, is content batch. Content batching is so important because you just take one day out of the week if you work a regular nine to five job and you have a day off out of the week take that day off to content batch your pictures so you're going to take an hour or two hours to take five pictures seven pictures how many pictures you want to take of your products in different scenes in your house outdoors wherever you holding it someone else holding it well however you want to take those pictures and you take those pictures all at a time. Well, not at the same time, but all in that one day. So you'll have, let's say you wanna take 10 pictures, you have 10 pictures for that week. And then on top of that, you could you create collages of those pictures and you have extra pictures to, to uh, post. So you won't have to be thinking about, oh my God, I didn't post today. Oh my God, I didn't post today. And you'll have, you'll have pictures to uh, post regularly now for you to post them if you don't have time to post them regularly you there is an app called Plan planoly or planoly 
P-L-A-N-O-L-Y. And that app, you could, you could um, upload all your pictures and you time them by day and by time when you want to post those. And you could actually also write a post comment on those pictures and post your hashtags in those pictures. And then it'll post it to Instagram at that time that you post that you um, scheduled it for. And you don't even have to worry about posting it because the app will do it for you. And that is a very good app for you to use if you don't have time to actually post regularly and consistently. So you just content batch all your pictures, upload it to Planoli and set a schedule for each picture and it'll post it for that day and whatever date you put, which is awesome. Time saver for sure. This is my bonus tip. If you have made it up to here, hurrah, hooray, yes. You have made it to the last part of this video. And this is the bonus. The bonus tip that I have for you is to start your Instagram page early. Not three to four days before you launch your business website. Not two to three days before you want to post a sales, um, a, a post, don't do that. Do it three to four months, even a year in advance so that you could create your branding, you could create a, a follower base, and you could create people that want your product so bad that they can't wait for you to open up. You want to create that hype. You want to have you want to have that following, that large following, so that they know that whenever you start or open up your, your website, they'll be there waiting to purchase your product. Especially if you have a very good engagement, especially if you have people liking your account uh, pictures and stuff like that, you'll have success when you launch your business. Now, in order, whenever you start your, uh, Instagram account, make sure that you go into the Explorer page, which is at the bottom of your account. It's going to be the magnifying lens. You go there and you look for accounts that you want to follow. For example, you're, you're going to be selling uh, candles. So you want to follow uh, people with the hashtags um, that has candle in it, except for candle maker or candle making, anything except for that. Home decor is a very good hashtag to follow or DIY home decor hashtags to follow because those hashtags are people who like home decor and obviously candles are home decor items. So you go into those pages, you start commenting stuff that actually makes sense. Don't just put, I like your picture. Oh, that's a good idea. No, make it meaningful so that they know that you are an actual person and not a bot and not somebody who just wants to follow, uh, get followers from them. And that way, other people are gonna see your comments and they might check your page out and see that you have nice content, that you have a nice page and they'll probably be potential followers. So that's a good way to do it. And as many times as you want in one day, you could do that. Um, comment on other people's posts and then that actually teaches Instagram what kind of content that you like to see so that in those Explorer page you're also seeing things that you want to follow and you could follow them too and also a very good idea from those Explorer page that's how I find a lot of the repost pictures that I put on my account and where I uh, that is geared to my customers to my followers to, and it's on brand and I would um, tag that post on my on my uh, on my account, and then I'll tag the the person that took the picture, which is give them photo credit, and make a little post, and also do hashtags on that too related to the picture, and so that you'll have another way of um, getting customers based on that picture. Now to recap, we're not gonna do not you're not gonna do. I'm gonna give you all the recaps positively so that you know what you're going to be doing um, when you open up your Instagram account. So the first tip, make your Instagram account public and make it a business account. Number two, 
If your name is taken, do not add an underscore or one, two, three, or add extra letters so that you can keep that business name. If it is taken, go back to the drawing board and choose another business name. You can check out my video on naming your candle making business for more tips or check out my free book, Candle Making Business Hacks, a beginner's guide to tips, tricks, and social media for more in-depth information for free in my description box and in the pinned comment below. Number three, make sure that your pictures on your account has a purpose and is a combination of pictures. Number four, post daily, at least twice a day. If not, post three times a day, weekly, consistently, and for those particular days. Also, make sure that you have your stories, um, pictures also in there. Five, don't only post your content. Make sure that you post other content, but make sure that it's on brand. Six, don't post content that has nothing to do with your brand, such as Karen's weddings photos. Not on brand, nothing to do with your business. Your, your followers don't care about that. Number seven, all your posts should be in an advertising sales post, such as buy this, check out my website, link in bio, or percentage off sales coupon code. Number eight, don't run a giveaway when you only have zero to 100 followers. You don't have them that much followers to begin with and you don't want to be in that spot where no one no one uh, applies to your giveaway on that same note don't have too much stipulations or rules to your giveaway number nine don't use hashtags randomly make sure you have a combination of big small and medium hashtags Make sure that you list the items on your pictures as hashtags and do not, do not, do not use hashtag candle maker or hashtag making candles as one of your hashtags because you don't want other candle makers to be your primary followers. You want other customers to be your followers. Also, on that same note, do use your business name as a hashtag it creates an additional page for your business and if someone searches for your business as a hashtag you already have content there extra exposure number 10 don't follow for follow don't do the buy followers or likes or don't do a follow loop number 11 content batch always content batch because it'll save you time and my bonus tip, start your Instagram early, months before or even a year before your business account starts. So those are my tips. I hope that they were very informational. I hope your marketing on Instagram is successful and you have a lot and many, many, many followers. And if you like this content and if you have other tips that you want to add to these tips that I have here, you could always add them in the comment below. I would love to do those. They work for you. Please, 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 please add them to the comments so that other people would have the opportunity to do those as well. So comment, like, ring that bell for uh, to be updated for my next videos. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye, Anthony.